One of the reasons why many people love artists like Jay Dilla, Matt Lieb and Flying Lotus is because they manage to really humanize hip-hop and electronic music with what some music enthusiasts call off-grid beat making. Playing off-grid basically consists in landing your notes slightly before or after their supposed position. Traditionally, a drum machine or a sampler would place notes rigidly within a 16 notes division, like so. With off-grid playing, you get a much funkier result. So, now you might be asking, how do I do this? Possibly without breaking bank on a new sampler? Now, if you have one of these, the answer is pretty simple actually. Grab your phone, keys and wallet, and go out drinking with your friends for at least four to five hours. Then come back home, close the door, go to your room, turn the machine on, turn the machine on, turn the machine on, hope that you've loaded some drum sounds before going out and start playing sloppily like the drunken mess that you are. If you have a DAW with a controller, even better. Call yourself Joe, because you can be as sloppy as a chili burger. Play with no fear, friend, as any egregious mistakes can be finally adjusted in your piano roll later on. And it's the same thing if you have one of those new shiny NPCs. So, mister, I don't have any of these expensive things. I just started making beats, and all I have is a PR33. Why do I do this? Don't you worry, my dear stock image, shallow pocketed friend. Here's how to achieve off grid beats on the PO33. First, find the drum sample pack that you're interested in. And, this is important, make sure it's got plenty of silence in between sounds. Exactly like this one, which, by the way, you can download for free. Link is in the description box below. Record it into the rhythm section. Play some notes just to see exactly where the PO33 has sliced the recorded file. Now, using the trim function, spot the slicer that you want and add as much or as little silence you like at the beginning of the sound. Let's copy and paste this sound from slot 9 to slot 10. Let's start laying some hi-hats on sound 9. You might need one version of the hat on grid and the other one off grid if that makes sense. And as you can see here, you can definitely do it. Just keep in mind that this will take two different spots in your sound bank. Now let's lay the kick and the snare on sound 10. I want the snare to land slightly early, so I'm gonna place the note on the previous step, but at the same time, use a fairly large gap at the start of the sample. So say that I want it somewhere before 5, I'll put it on 4, but with a big delay. And you're done. <laughs> See how delightfully wonky that is. Let's move on to another popular cheap sampler, the Volker sample. For this, you'll need some extra help from a computer. Gather all the samples that you want to transfer and load them into an audio editor of choice. I use Logic, but you can literally use any other free software available like Audacity, for example. Leave some silence before the start of each sample. 1 16th at 90 BPM seems to work fine for me. Now, if you do have Logic, you can save a lot of time by exporting them all at once by multiple selection, Command E and export. Once your samples are transferred over to the Volker, you need to play with the start sample knob to get exactly the amount of swing and weirdness that you need. Again, just keep in mind that for each sound you might need one version of it on grid and another one off grid and that takes up voices of polyphony. 
but it's all worth it for this absolutely stanky beat. Now, it's time to mention that many new machines actually offer some kind of off-grid features to achieve the same things that we discussed in this video. Electron, for example, has the micro-timing feature. Novation has the micro-step, and so on and so forth. But, if your sampler doesn't have a similar feature, you can use this technique on pretty much any machine that accepts custom samples and is able to adjust the start point. With that, I think this pretty much covers it. This is how you get any sampler to sound like Dilla or Madlib. Speaking of which, why don't you click on this video showing the best app and synth combo to unlock your inner beat conductor. Come on, I know you want to.